My biggest issue on campus is parking. It's parking, for sure. Parking. Parking, definitely. I'm John David Spade. I'm the parking director for the City of Columbia. I have the most trouble finding parking, of course, during the middle of the day, during a weekday. It's basically impossible to find a parking meter during the day if you want to actually like park close to something, like a spire or someone that you like park near where someone lives or near a class. Parking is just generally hard to find uh, because you have to find meters, but they're generally taken. And I already have a parking space in a garage, but obviously if my car is there anyways, it's not going to be useful. Um, I would say, um, since I have a student parking pass, when I come back um, or try and take my car out on the weekdays, I absolutely cannot find a parking spot, and that's really difficult um, because I can only park in the surface lots, and basically my $80 went to just uh, the right to try and find a spot, not to actually have a spot. So I'd, I'd probably say that that's the most frustrating thing about the parking. I think that uh, probably the, the campus of the University of South Carolina is one of the best areas in the southeast on a university setting um, to park in an outlying district, whether it be some of the, um, the lots near Colonial Center, um, the garage near Blossom Street, where students can park in one location and don't have to worry about long walks to campus like, like I did back in the, in the 60s when I went to Carolina uh, because of the shuttle system. Um, they move thousands and thousands of students every day on that shuttle system. I think it gets back to sometimes people would rather not wait for a shuttle, and the, the wait is very short, uh, and park as close to their destination as possible. Parking meters, I think that they're kind of irritating, actually. I don't think that we should, I think that, that everybody should just buy a parking pass instead of um, having to park at the parking meters. I think that's just another way of them conning, up, conning, conning us out of their money. So. I think the parking meters were originally put in to help uh, pay for the fact that the city was going to make parking spaces, and now that they've paid for themselves, I don't even know why they're there. The purpose of the parking meters is to make money in a really annoying way so that it's really hard for you to actually use the meters because you can only use them for two hours and then you get an $80 parking ticket or whatever. People ask us all the time, why do you have the meters? Why do you enforce them? Is this just a money-making gimmick from the city? And, and, and our answer is, and, and, and you'll find this is a parking industry standard that's been in place since the 1930s and started in Oklahoma City. Parking meters are there to create turnover. If we didn't have parking meters on the street, whether it be Main Street or near campus, then what, what you would find is that employees in those areas would park on the street and for someone visiting, whether it be a student going to a class that lives in Columbia that um, is a day student that comes in for a class or two a day and is trying to find a place convenient to that class or somebody shopping or somebody doing business with the university, those people wouldn't be able to find parking spaces if we didn't control the turnover um, by having the meters in place. Parking is such an issue on campus because there's 27,000 students and it's a small city and there's only so many parking meters and parking garages. Just, I think that the parking situation is just out of control. There's more cars on campus than there are parking spots and that's definitely a very problematic. They need to have a stricter process on freshmen that are allowed to have parking passes and have parking spots and garages. I think freshmen should not have cars on campus because um, I think there's too many of them and too many of them bring their cars and they take up spots that upperclassmen should have on campus. I think they should. Um, we pay our tuition just like everyone else. I, why not have a car? I know when I went to Carolina, freshmen couldn't have cars on campus. It's almost a necessity as we see the housing for students moving away from the, the central campus. Um, a lot of uh, private developers are um, planning on new apartment units for students um, as far away as Blossom and UG. Um, I, I think you know there's a lot of students that work. Um, I know I worked in my freshman year at Carolina, so I had to have transportation.
feel like parking is a right considering that you're spending ten thousand dollars in tuition to go to this university I believe it's a right for upperclassmen who need it to get to class, but I believe for freshmen who live on campus, it's um, a privilege. Parking is definitely a privilege. It's more like a right to me. Just like I said, we pay our tuition just like everyone else does. If our parents allow us to have a car, um, just why not have it? I think it's a privilege. Um, and, and the privilege uh, comes from the parents primarily, because those are the people that we talk to here in parking um, when we send statements out about past due parking tickets, and, and, and the parents are normally the ones that are paying for it. Granted, there's a lot of students that pay their own way, um, but most of the, the, the calls that I get are from parents of students uh, wondering why their son or daughter um, has uh, raised this large amount of parking tickets and not told them about it until we've towed their vehicle, and, and we hate to tow vehicles. Um. We are very sensitive to move-in days. Uh, we don't write tickets during move-in days. Uh, we work uh, very closely with university parking on that. Uh, we, we also don't, we don't tow vehicles during exams. Um, and our enforcement's a little bit lighter during that time of year. Uh, we're, we're very sensitive to the fact that exams are a little different in that you may be, have to be somewhere different than you normally are on a certain day a week for an exam than your regular class schedule. So we take that into account. 